Hi everyone! Today I'm going to talk about how I drew this to this. In this video, I'll be going over my process of how I did my Draw This Again challenge. So let's get started. I created this drawing on Procreate in January 2019, so I'm going to be using the same program with the latest piece. When I started my redraw, I wasn't sure how to go on about it, so I drew on top of it on a separate layer and lower the original image opacity, just to correct some issues I've noticed right away. These included the stiffness and the, of the overall movement, the lack of volume and form in her anatomy, and after that I played around with the design and drew a few variations of her new look. So before going into this, I knew this process is going to take way longer than I anticipated since I didn't really have a clear vision from the start of how I wanted to look like, so I was just kind of having fun with it and making some changes here and there. Sometimes it's best to allow yourself to just have fun with a piece like this, especially if you're exploring new designs and concepts, and because of that, I was debating for the longest time whether I wanted to leave it as a finished piece or a finished drawing or fully render it. I really wasn't sure if I wanted to commit to it at this point, so I left it aside for several days before coming back to it again. This time I decided to play around with the composition to make it more dynamic. I still don't have a clear idea at this point, all I know is I just wanted to add more emphasis to her wings, correct her pose, and add some flair like her stars. I also decided to shorten her hair since I wanted to create a better and clear silhouette so the viewer will direct their focus on her large wings at first glance. So from here, I really love how her face is coming along, so I had a lot of fun and got carried away adding details and playing with the line work. Again, I really don't recommend this way of working if you're on a tight deadline or looking for a faster workflow because when I'm exploring, I like to take my time really figuring out what I want in the image while testing out different methods. Okay, so at this point, it wouldn't make sense if I didn't commit to the piece, so I'm just gonna render it. So I add base colors to the overall image. I wanted to use a slightly darker color palette with hints of gold, so I'm just testing out what looks good and feels good to the overall image. I'm starting to feel more confident with the way things are going, and I would also look through Pinterest for some inspiration. I came across these traditional paintings with these gorgeous sunrise lighting, so I make quick changes to the colors to achieve the same atmosphere I saw in these paintings, and I try to figure out the best lighting to tell that story. I would constantly refer back to those paintings since I was really inspired by this dreamy, hazy lighting you see before the sunrise, and I only wanted the light to hit in certain areas of the character while the rest descends into shadow. So I chose a lighting coming from above, slightly towards the top left, and from here so I'm just testing out different lighting for the wings and around her wings. I also want to emphasize one of her curls closest to the viewer because I think it gives it that nice stylization touch by exaggerating its forms. Again, I was referencing a lot of old paintings and how they would render the hair because I really like that technique. So at the same time, I'm trying to learn its, this technique and applying it to my painting. The arrow on the top left corner that you see is also to remind myself where the light source is coming from. I think it's a small, it's a good reminder just to let you know like where where are the overall main light source is. So I actually took a two week break from this painting and came back to it with fresh eyes. That's why when I came back to it, I decided to make some changes to her anatomy. I didn't like how her arms look like, it just felt awkward in my opinion. So I created a separate file and did some variations to her pose. So as you can see, I made several adjustments and kept reiterating from that. So I do warn you to do your preliminary sketches and concepts beforehand, especially if you're in a tight deadline. So once I'm happy with one of the poses, I just pasted the new updated pose into the painting. And then I just continue to render and clean up the painting by going over the golden details in her outfit, halo, and her tattoos. I try to bring back some of the light reflecting from the stars in your feed to create another light source since I do think the image is a little dark and it just gives it a nice, you know, flow to the overall image. 
I also decided to add some hazy smoke since I thought it looked cool at that time. I also added a dark gradient to the background so the image creates this nice ombre effect and reads from light to dark. I'm adding the lighting to her legs and hands that come from the stars glow. I don't do too much here except for placing emphasis on the lighting since most, most of the things are in shadow so there's really no point in me rendering all the details. To render her wings, I was looking through images of ravens and crows. The way the light reflects on those feathers emit this nice bluish tint, like turquoise tint, so I really wanted to add that in her wings as well. So I just loosely render the stars to make it look like they're all clumped together and I actually duplicate some parts to save some time because I've already spent a lot of time on this painting. I use a bit of the smudge tool to create that hazy glow and add some sparkles. Yes, I did omit the birds and the smoke to avoid busyness. And I'm sorry to anyone who are fans of the birds, but I gotta do what I gotta do. To be honest, I was debating for the longest time to keep them, but I wanted this nice silhouette to the character from the start, so I had to sacrifice some things. So from here, I'm just fixing things again, going back and forth. I'm fixing the wings a bit more. Uh, some of the edges are too soft, so I want to create and bring those hard edges back to the shadows of the wings. Near the final stages, I use an adjustment layer. I use a soft brush with a layer set to overlay to bring a nice contrast to the stars and help lighten up areas to give it that nice extra pop. So I do that to add glow and a little star sparkles around her and also her hair and especially the stars in the bottom of her feet. So this is the final painting and despite the challenges that went through creating this painting, I'm quite happy with how it all turned out. I learned a lot from this painting mainly to see how far I could push the image with lighting and by making just, just making careful decisions and sacrifices to tell the best and clear story. So that's the end. Let me know what you guys think of the painting. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be adding the painting to my shop soon. So please subscribe to my channel and if you want to see more works, I'm also adding links to my social media. Thank you. See you guys soon.